Thank you, Anita. New details tonight in a Target 12 investigator's exclusive Craig Price's prison attack. Yesterday, we reveal this prison security video. It shows the notorious Rhode Island serial killer attacking another inmate in Florida. This evidence was key in the case that's keeping Craig Price behind bars for more than two decades. New at 6, we're looking more into why Price was seen in the video dragging a wheelchair. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with what he's learned. One of the main questions we received from viewers after we aired this video last night, what is the story behind Craig Price's wheelchair? The morning of April 4th, 2017 at the Sewanee Correctional Institution started routine, but quickly turned violent. This prison surveillance video shows Rhode Island serial killer Craig Price exiting his cell. He stops to talk to fellow inmate Joshua Davis, then suddenly rushes him and begins stabbing Davis with a homemade knife. Records reviewed by Target 12 find that Price believed Davis was slipping poison into his food. There is no evidence to back up that claim. You can see in the video Price dragging a wheelchair before the attack. In fact, correctional officers eventually use it to cart him away after they are able to subdue and cuff him. Court transcripts reviewed by Target 12 show Price was often seen with the wheelchair. Inmates told investigators he sits in it the majority of the time and he wheels himself around. The 45 year old price was also outfitted with a knee brace according to court paperwork and he's in a wheelchair supposedly but in an interview with target 12 the stabbing victim joshua davis says price would get agitated when he wasn't getting the medical attention he wanted he's he's got a medical issue for a wheelchair and so he kind of uses that to his advantage but they kind of keep him whatever he needs to keep him calm Davis told investigators he didn't think Price actually needed the wheelchair because of how quick Price was during the assault. Price's attorney did not return a request for comment. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.